Hey guys, it's Ollie from the Java Hub, and welcome to your ninth beginner's um, game development tutorial. And it's occurred to me that these tutorials may not be actually so beginner friendly. So, in the comments, please tell me if I'm being sort of um, too uh, complex or if I'm not explaining things as often as I should be. Uh, just leave any feedback in the comments section. Um, also, any questions you may have, please ask me in the comments or post them on my channel comments for them to be answered in the weekly Q&A. Um, but anyways, I've got my class here, I've named it Mouse, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you about uh, mouse movement and also when the mouse is being dragged. So to start off I've imported Java Aut, and the star means you import everything from that particular class, and also I've got my Java X Swing dot j frame and I've made my uh, constructor to just set the size of the j frame and the default close operation so on and so forth uh, this is just double buffering here ready to use and I'm just going to quickly add repaint into my paint component method and that will repaint the screen every time it's used so now I'm going to begin by showing you how to start implementing your mouse and the, what it's called is a mouse motion listener and so this class is going to, wow, if I can spell it right, implements, there we go. It's going to implement the mouse motion listener. There we are. And this is going to need to be imported. And, yep, that looks good. Now, as you can see, this is underlined red. And if we press Alt-Enter, it says implement all abstract methods. I'm just going to double-click this. And as you can see at the bottom, it's added mouse dragged and mouse moved. These are the two methods we're going to be working with. First, we can just delete these. And I wanted to talk to you about something that I haven't shown you in previous uh, event tutorials, event handling tutorials, and that's something called consume. And when your event stops happening, in other words, if, um, say, you have a key pressed, when the key stops being pressed, um, we want to consume the event to free up memory. And make our program generally run faster. So um, to do this, at the end of each of your events um, we're going to write e.consume oops, that is definitely not the right one consume there we go, now we're ready to implement our method. So I'm going to make two variables at the top uh, for where the mouse location is and that will be uh, int mx and my for mouse x mouse y and to start off with, in our mouse moved, we're going to get, <coughs> we're going to program the location of our mouse. So to do this, we write mx equals e, which is the event, and get x, and my equals e dot get y. And then I'm going to copy and paste this into this here. Mm, let's see, now we need a... Um, <sighs> Actually, let me explain what's going on so far. It should, hopefully you already understand it, but um, uh, we have our mouse dragged and mouse move methods, and we're simply assigning the variable mx, which we created, and also my, which we also created, to the location of the mouse um, when the event happens. And of course, with mouse moved, the mouse will, well, unless it's still, I guess, um, it will always be moving, but even when it stops, it will have the coordinates of where it stopped, already so uh, there'll be no issues there. Now we need a boolean value to tell whether the mouse is being dragged or not because we're going to do something with the paint method. Um, boolean mouse dragged and then in our mouse dragged we're going to say mouse dragged equals true and in our mouse moved because when the mouse is moving and not being dragged um, it's going to be false. So mouse moved is just when the mouse is moving, but mouse dragged is when the mouse is moving but also a button is being held down. Uh, so that's why we're doing this. Now in our paint component method we're going to create an if statement. So are saying if the mouse is dragged we're going to set the color to dark grey color dot dark gray then g dot fill rectangle we're just going to create a background and the background will be at zero zero 
and get width and get height so that will be the width and the height of the screen and then we're going to set the color again dot light gray this time and then g dot fill rectangle at mx my and we're going to make it 20 by 20 and then i'm going to write an l statement for when the mouse is not being dragged and i'm going to copy this entire thing except the colors are going to be switched around light and dark so let's have a look at this quick um yeah that looks good oh and also on the mouse we want our mouse to be at the center of the square so let's minus 10 from each of these minus 10 and minus 10 so all of this should oh actually before I forget, we need to, if you remember from the last ones, in our J-frame, in our constructor, we needed to add a key listener or add a mouse listener. In this case, we need to add we need to add a mouse motion listener. And because we didn't create a class for it, and it's just in this class, we simply write this. And that refers to this class. Now, if we run this, this should have all worked fine. Now, we've got our grey box with our... Um, gray square following the mouse and when we click and hold the mouse in we can see it changes color and when we let go it changes uh, back um, if you stop it and let go it kind of stays there and then you move it a bit and it changes back um, but anyway that's uh, this tutorial on mouse movement and mouse dragged hopefully that helps and again please leave any questions you have in the comments or on my channel page